a section of the church belonging to ex-Nairobi gubernatorial aspirant Bishop Margaret Wanjiru was on Wednesday demolished by unknown people. The unknown people went to the Jesus is Alive Ministries, which is located along the Haile Selassie Highway and began to demolish it. This follows a dispute over the land where the church lies. Wanjiru who was accompanied by area member of parliament Amos Mwago claimed the demolition was politically motivated without stating who was behind it. Armed police were present as the group brought down a wall. Wanjiru claimed they were beaten and their phones snatched. She claimed she was injured during the fracas she tried to defend the move. She also claimed that demolishers claimed they had been sent by an influential person to bring down the church wall on account of having been constructed on government land. She said the land does not belong to the government. On February 10, another group tried to demolish the same wall but were unable to accomplish the mission due to a wedding ceremony that was taking place, Wong Jiao claimed. Police said they were providing security to the group behind the demolition. The church is bought property next to the railway land. Campaigning to be repaid like this. I wasn't campaigning for land grabbers to come and start claiming that our church properties are their properties. We cannot lose properties in this country. Now, ni wengi, wamekuja wanasema ni NIS, wengine wanasema ni DCIO, wengine ni police, ni wengi. So definitely government is involved and it, it is sad, very sad that this is the government that we campaigned for. I'm yet to believe that they can do this to me. I'm the one who sold Kenya Kwanzaa, UDA in Nairobi County. I'm the one who gave them a platform. Leave alone that. I'm the one who gave them a vision for Nairobi. And today, look at what we are suffering. Ukingia ukundani kumeja police and they are all armed. Wametunyanganya vitu zetu, wametukua simu, wametupiga. Me, I have to go to hospital. Sayi nimekunywa painkillers, ndiyo nifike hapa. So I go, have to rush to hospital.